Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month number two, looking at operations and relations of sets. In this video, we're checking out what is equivalence in set theory. Now, as we've covered in other videos, equivalence is a property of a relation. Check out our video on properties of relations for more. We can say that a relation is equivalent when it meets three criteria. The relation is reflexive, the relation is symmetrical, and the relation is transitive. We'll look at more on how to how these relations apply to set theory later in the series. For now, if you're curious, check out our previous video on the properties of relations that goes into these three, as well as things like intransitive, etc. A reflexive, a relation is reflexive if and only if for all x, x, x is a member. So in other words, everything bears the relation to itself, has the same number of members as, is a reflexive relation. All things have the same number of members as themselves. All classes have the same number of members as themselves. Sometimes when defining these properties of relations, we say, we say with respect to a particular class so that we can more easily show that all members of that class fit the description. For example, if we took V as the class we care about, a relation would be reflexive if for all sets, all members of V, X, X is a member. Now, a relation is symmetric if and only if for all X and all Y, if X, Y is a member, so is Y, X. Is a sibling is a, an example of a symmetric relation. If X is Y's sibling, Y is X's sibling. This doesn't have the same need to kind of focus on the scope as the reflexive relation because we're not talking about for all x really. We're talking about for all x, y that are already a member. So that will usually define the type of thing that we're talking about with a given relation. And finally, transitivity of a relation should not be confused with transitivity of a set. They are very different things. Transitivity of a relation means that if x, y and y, z are members of a relation, then x, z is a member too. Is greater than is a transitive relation. If 3 is greater than 2 and 2 is greater than 1, then 3 must be greater than 1. Like I said, for more information and for more examples on these, check out my video on properties of relations. Finally, equivalence, we call a relation equivalent if and only if it is reflexive, symmetrical, and transitive, or more formally, where R is a relation and E means is equivalent. For all relations R, R is equivalent means by definition that R is reflexive, R is symmetrical, and R is transitive. We're going to call this relation equivalence definition in proofs. Up next, we're going to take a look at partitions and what are partitions of sets and classes. We're almost done with this month. It's been great. I hope you have enjoyed. We are coming up on the end, but we have four more months of set theory to go. In the next month, we're going to be looking at more at piano arithmetic and how we can really start building the foundations of mathematics out of set theory now that we kind of have these good building blocks. So watch a video every single day for the rest of this month. Subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to know when we're going to be doing our next month of set theory. It'll probably be a while, but it'll be there. Or just check out the rest of the videos on the channel while you're waiting. Watch this video and more at carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.